Rio hasn't really got on with the job here. We did see initial follow through from our last review, but we can see here clear rejection from around the $65 region. That now suggests that wave B is going to conclude a little bit further down the track. Could be reasonably close by if we see a running flat terminate around this general region, but I think the risk is we're going to see an expanded flat, which basically means that wave A will be penetrated by a small margin. Now we do have a line in the sand Generally with these types of patterns, expanded flats, wave C will travel 1.618 times length of wave A. So that's measuring this movement and projecting it from this high, multiplying by 1.618. That takes us down to this target area here. That shows confluence with the 50% retracement level and all things being equal. If this region is tagged, we would expect to see some support coming in and ideally trigger a decent movement higher. So remember, ultimately, what we're still looking for is an ABC movement higher taken up toward this zone of resistance. So from these lows, a larger degree wave B, A, this is going to be the expanded flat pattern, A being a wave C. Signs of demand here, then looking for another swift movement higher, likely taking us up through the wave equality projection of this movement higher. Probably this zone of resistance is going to draw price toward it if we can gain some momentum. But bigger picture, the high of wave X here would need to be overcome in an impulsive fashion. So impulsive price action from these lows before thinking in terms of something much more bullish unfolding. So we are still correcting higher over the short term. Like I say, the risk is to the downside. We do have a minor old line of resistance, new line of support, pretty much on today's low. So if we can reject and head higher immediately, then the running flat is likely already in position. But uh, I think because of the confluence down here, we are going to see slightly lower prices over the coming weeks. Get down toward that target area, complete that expanded flat pattern. Then if we do see volume start to increase, and as we can see actually over the past few sessions, during this weakness, volume has been very low indeed, and that's really indicative of the mum and dads getting out as opposed to the smart money. So if this trick continues, low volume down into this $56 region, then start to see that volume increase and some nice high closes. That will certainly be a big confidence booster in regard to seeing a decent movement up toward this next zone of resistance, circa $73, $74.